Hi guys, today is uh, March 3rd, uh, 2020 and uh, futures uh, fluctuated all morning between gains and losses after members of uh, G7 meeting uh, pledged their support uh, of, to combat uh, coronavirus but uh, investors were looking uh, for specific actions by the bankers and uh, they didn't hear that. This meeting was led by uh, Jerome Powell and uh, uh, Secretary Steven Mnuchin and uh, a lot of investors, like I said, uh, were expecting uh, concrete actions, but uh, that didn't happen. And uh, but futures are slightly up. And uh, here are your uh, picks for the day and long term. Uh, let's start with uh, SPY. SPY is uh, trading a little bit higher. Uh, actually, it's trading a little bit lower. And uh, uh, like I said before, that uh, this level to uh, twenty-eight eighty-five or twenty. 285 level could be retested in the future so if the stock market is up to a little bit uh, I would trim a little bit uh, some of uh, the positions because uh, this could come down a little bit to test again this level 285 level okay so that's that and uh, let's jump into stocks uh, let's start with the uh, coronavirus handling stocks uh, Moderna Moderna said that they will have manufacturing and digital day on March 4th between 1 and 4 p.m. okay the before they were planning to do the face-to-face uh, -face, uh, day uh, basically meeting with uh, uh, a lot of investors and uh, analysts face-to-face uh, -face, but now they're doing it uh, as a webcast and uh, you can watch it uh, tomorrow uh, just get a link from their website and uh, there will be interesting to say uh, to, to, to hear what they say okay so moderna is trading lower uh, and i think it's uh, it's a pretty good pickup in my opinion at this price like uh, 20 even 27 dollars okay another uh, stock uh, that's uh, corona handling stock is innovia pharmaceuticals uh, that had big news today because they said that uh, yesterday in the white house they said that they're accelerating development uh, of phase two uh, of their vaccine, um, coronavirus vaccine, and uh, this stock is trading significantly, significantly higher. And I told you that's a pretty good pickup between the four and five dollars. And uh, I maintain the stands. Uh, I think if it comes down below five dollars, it could be a good pickup. Uh, right now, it's trading at uh, five dollars and uh, like forty-six cents bidding, pre-market. Okay, but uh, they also said that they will need uh, a lot more resources. Uh, to produce the vaccine and uh, so expect them to issue more stock uh, or outstanding shares of stock in the future. This company actually, what I don't like them, uh, what I don't like about them is they, as soon as the price comes up, they immediately issue more stock. But in general, it's a very promising uh, company and uh, I think that despite of them issuing more stock, this the, the price may still go higher. So under $5, it's a good pickup, okay? Another stock that's in the news is Tesla. Okay, Tesla reported that the uh, German government uh, decided to support their uh, Berlin Gigafactory and uh, will be giving them uh, $311 million uh, to uh, develop that, uh, this Gigafactory. Really good news for Tesla and uh, shares are going higher and I think uh, Actually, if it comes down a little bit, it would be an interesting buy uh, uh, for Tesla. Okay, so I like Tesla here. Speaking of the Tesla and Tesla counterpart, is Neo. Uh, yesterday, Citigroup analyst uh, came out and uh, downgraded Neo, saying that uh, the recent collaboration of Neo and uh, Hefe. Uh, government giving them 1.4 billion dollars uh, may not be a, a cure for all but i think if a new comes down below four dollars it could be a decent pickup in my opinion okay the next company is in the news is beyond meat uh, beyond meat is trading higher because uh the uh, ceo of beyond meat ethan brown uh, uh, came to uh, Jim Cramer's uh, Med Money and uh, talked up the stock a little bit and said that they are expecting an expansion in uh, Asia despite the coronavirus fears. 
so the stock is trading higher i actually like the stock uh, i would love uh, to buy it under a hundred dollars and i told you like uh, when i was trading like 90 dollars it's a good pickup because they reported really good numbers and uh, uh, beat the street by 25 percent and uh, i think it's a good pickup under a hundred dollars b y and d another company that's uh, training in the news is amd uh, amd was upgraded by piper sandler uh, today and uh, generally uh, it's a really good pickup and uh, speaking of uh, amd and others it's uh, mu also is a good pickup and uh, amat you know that i like those stocks because uh, the despite the coronavirus fears the prices for uh, uh, NAND and the DRAM memory prices has not come down and uh, uh, a lot of uh, Chinese suppliers uh, are not online and uh, the demand still there okay so I mean the demand reduced a little bit due to coronavirus but a lot of suppliers still offline and uh, tr just trying to uh, ramp up the production that's why the prices are, are very resilient right now on uh, DRAM and NAND so these suppliers are in pretty good shape in my, in my opinion and XPI also was upgraded by Misuzo and, uh, and uh, actually by uh, Deutsche Bank uh, so uh, that's a pretty good pickup if it comes down a little bit okay that came down was the the rest of the market but I think uh, it could be a pretty good buy in the 115 117 area and XPI okay uh, QRVO that's an Apple supplier uh, reported earnings uh, actually, did not report earnings. It's uh, cut cut the guidance. Yes, it's reported earnings, cut the guidance, but the stock is still up because uh, people expected expected worse. So um, I think uh, under a hundred dollars, that's that's a really good pickup for QRVO. I'm not sure if I'm uh, uh, if I want to pick up at a hundred and two dollars or uh, or so. Okay, speaking of uh, Apple suppliers and Apple, Apple is. Uh, also trading higher today and uh, a lot of people ask me about Apple and uh, I think under three hundred dollars it's pretty good pickup in my opinion and uh, it might go under three hundred dollars today okay so in other corporate news is uh, Kohl's Corporation uh, reported pretty good earnings actually uh, raised their dividend by five percent and uh, actually uh, gave pretty good guidance stock is trading uh, higher I generally don't like retail but this stock has come down a ton and as uh, has pretty good management and uh, handling this crisis really well uh, it's yielding almost uh, seven percent and uh, I think it could be a very interesting pickup here in this area okay speaking of retail target also reported numbers, uh, they reported mixed results, uh, bid on the top line on earnings, and uh, but a little bit lower on uh, revenue. And uh, in general, is not a bad, bad pickup. Uh, I would like it to come down a little bit. I wouldn't buy it at the open. Let it come down a, a little bit and closer to $100. That would be an awesome pickup. TGT stock symbol okay speaking of the awesome pickup actually xom exxon mobile mobile came down significantly uh, since recent highs and generally i don't like oils but this uh, stock came down so much that it's yielding like 6.6 6.7 percent and uh, if it comes down like to closer to 50 dollars i would be interested to, to buy the stock for, just for the yield okay so another company that's in the news is uber okay uber was upgraded this morning by needham and uh, needham uh, added the uber to its conviction list i'm not sure if i'm uh, a, a, f a fan of uber right now uh, in this coronavirus fears and fear environment but uh, mm, i would like it to to uh, i would like more clarity on coronavirus fears before i pick up uber okay and uh, also, speaking of coronavirus fears, uh, people ask me a lot about the airline stocks. Is it time to pick up airline stocks? And uh, stocks like AAL, American Airlines, and uh, others. 
I think that these stocks came down so much and they're so oversold. I mean, uh, sitting at the like AAL sitting at uh, like 18, that that would not be a bad idea to pick some shares of the airlines such as AAL, DAL, okay, Delta, uh, LUV, uh, Southwest, and uh, UAL. Okay, UAL is probably my favorite out of the. Uh, of those uh, those four and uh, Delta is also uh, I like Delta I mean they're sitting at the really low prices and uh, maybe it's not a bad idea to uh, nab a little bit not a lot just a little bit okay so that's it guys that's the my wrap for the day uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel click the like button and I'll see you tomorrow